Hello guys. How are you? How is everybody doing? How is everybody doing? I'm gonna just come through with a just a quick video. Quick video. Okay. Alright, um let me just come through with this quick video before I um, I'm going for an appointment so I'm gonna just come through with a quick video <sighs> I posted a link I posted a link some few minutes ago um, if you haven't seen that link I recommend you click on it and watch it if you live in the US if you live in Canada if you live in Europe um, or any part of uh, the world where there is stable uh, stability I encourage you to watch it hmm? I encourage you to work watch it I'm a big fan of financial literacy I'm a big fan of financial knowledge I believe it is one thing that has also made a key difference in my life by educating myself to know how the rich live their life and how they make their decisions I'm still an ignorant young man trying to get better by the day fill my cup of wisdom um, but I try to share I like to share so I posted a link just before coming on this video if you haven't watched it try and go and watch it it's a very interesting one a Filipino friend of mine who is um, she's pretty old she looks young but she's pretty old she's probably in her late 40s almost 50 years old she bought her um, a house in 2018 October 2018 for 270,000 a three bedroom very close to a college very very close to a college she bought it for 270,000 three bedroom in 2018 October I also bought my first property in 2018 December for 281,000 three bedroom Look at the similarity. Hers was 270 in October 2018. Mine was 281,000. In December 2018, she bought hers $10,000 cheaper than mine. And she bought it two months earlier before me. So at least she even bought the first house before me. When I met her today, um, the last time I saw her was about two years ago. Uh, she's somebody I know randomly we had an appointment in the past where i offered her service so today she needed my service for something and she called me and the last time i saw her was two years ago and when we met today i asked her what is new in her life uh, she says she's pretty much working she does two jobs even at her age almost 50 she does two jobs and um she's also hoping to save money to buy another house Meaning she's planning to save another salary again to buy. So I asked her, like, why would you want to save money to buy another house? And then she said, well, because you need, you, I need another money to make a down payment again to buy another house. I said, well, you don't need another money. <laughs> she looked at me like that and I started explaining. I said, your house, how much did you buy? She said, 270 and I said, how much have you paid off it and how much do you owe the bank? She said, I owe the bank about 240000 more. So she's only paid 30000 off. And I told her, do you know your house is now worth almost 600000 about 580000 She said, yes. Then she said, actually, a house which is very close to mine on the same street sold for 570000 And I said, your house is also worth 580000 600000 She was surprised i knew it off head without even I, I i like i just i can tell the value of properties by just looking at them and their location i just know them just because of what i do so i started explaining to her how she can buy not even one house she can actually buy up to three houses three houses she can buy up to three houses more without using any money of hers by leveraging on the first property to buy more and when i was explaining it you can see her face change right away i want you guys to go watch that video and see whether you learned something from it 
the bottom line of what I'm trying to say is that financial knowledge is a key decider of the trajectory of your life. How you live your life and how you either control money or not control money, lack money or have money, is directly proportional to your financial literacy. The stuff they teach us in school is old school. It's outdated. Nobody uses them anymore. I'm being honest with you. The stuff they teach us in school is outdated. Education is important for just tickling your brain to think. But the kind of things they teach us in school, in the business schools and stuff, completely out of date. I remember when I was on that live video and I was ed educating this Filipino woman about this. A lady wrote a comment, I forgot her name. She said, wow, these are the things we learned in the school, in the business schools. And yet, see how practical it is as you are making them practical. The education we receive today is just completely out of tune with practicals. So many people acquire the knowledge around the business schools, in accounting, and they don't even know how the world of money works. They do not even know how the world of money works. I spend a lot of time educating myself. And every single time I learn something new, I always ask myself, how come I have not known this all this while? How come nobody taught me? And then quickly I tell myself, well, because nobody is supposed to teach you. You are supposed to understand how the world works. And so I take it upon myself to educate myself. I hope you guys will learn something from that video. If you have the chance, go back to that Facebook link that I just shared with a Filipino woman and watch the video and see if there is something you learn in there. Or not give too much of the content away. But just go back and watch it and see if it is good. Akajame says the key decider of the trajectory of your life is financial knowledge. Yes. The difference between me buying a house in December 2018 for 281 and this woman buying a house in October 2018 in 2018. We bought in the same year, two months apart. Almost similar prices, identical locations. The key difference is my ability to buy more and even creating more financial revenue from rent and still owning more is because of what I know and what she doesn't know. So today she was so happy. She actually told me she's so happy she's met me again. She's going to tell her husband about it. She's going to book an appointment with her bank right away. She's going to book an appointment with her bank right away and she's going to see how best she can begin leveraging this to buy more properties. You see, so instead of her plan, her plan was to work hard over time, save more money and buy another property, which is the strategy of a lot of people. Do you know that was also my strategy when I bought my first property? Hmm? I wanted to work hard, two jobs, three jobs, save more money, buy another one. Work hard, save money, man. By the time you finish, you'll be, you'll be in mortuary. You'll be in the mortuary. If that's your strategy, by the time you finish, you'll be in a mortuary. You will be, you will end up dead because your health is failing. Hmm? Millionaires don't work hard to create wealth. They leverage what they have to create more. They leverage what they have. I leverage my properties to buy more. I leverage my properties to buy more properties. I leverage one property to buy more properties. I leverage one property to buy more properties. And this is what I want to share with you. It doesn't matter. There are many of you today, you are so scared in US in Norway, in uh, whichever country you find yourself, to buy a house. It's not because you are so scared, though. it's because you lack the financial knowledge. You don't understand things. So you are so afraid, huh? <laughs> you are so afraid. You don't understand them. Anyway, that is all for now. This is Chuckle Millionaire. Remember, you don't need more money, you need more wisdom. Share this video if it blesses you. Drop your comments, drop your likes if it blesses you. And uh, share with somebody that may, needs to hear this, okay? My agenda is to empower the African to do more whether you are in Africa in uh, Asia or in Europe or North America my agenda is to empower all of us so that we can sharpen ourselves so we can be better generations of Africans and not those who work three jobs and four jobs and their eyes are so red and angry looking at dresses you know looking like they are picking crumbs on the road all the time no 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 people should see different Africans when they meet us hmm? people can you imagine how the face of a bank teller looked when i went to a bank i think I, there was something i went to do with my wife okay remember the day i went to costco with my wife and i did that live video um we ended up picking a costco credit card for my wife huh? listen carefully 
So when we went to the line where the attendant, the customer service agent there, was taking my wife's information to approve her for a credit card for whatever reason, she was asking our information. Oh, what is your wife's income? My wife said it. What is your income? I said it. And then she, her face, her face changed right away. Her face changed right away. And then she asked, "Can you confirm the figure you said?" And then we gave her the figure. Her face changed right away. You can tell she didn't expect a black guy. She, you can tell she didn't expect a black guy to, to, to be making this kind of money. She was shocked. Then all of a sudden, her attitude changed towards us for good. She started treating us differently, with more kindness. You know what I mean? Just because she's realized that maybe we make X amount of money or something, she was expecting us to say thirty thousand dollars a month, a, a, a year. But so when we said it and it was different, she was just shocked. And then she followed up by asking a question: Do you mind if I ask what you do? So I told her what I do. And she looked at she. Then she said, "That is smart." Look, financial knowledge is the crisis we have today, as a generation. We are so uneducated about how money works. We are so uneducated about how the systems work. And then we work and work and work using old school methods of hard work, exchanging health for money, exchanging physical health for money, exchanging physical health for money, exchanging physical health for money. Health will expire one day. Don't exchange your health for money. God bless you. This is Chopper Millennia. Have a good day. All right. Um, I'm gonna get back on the road, so I'll talk to you guys another time. Okay. Um, take care. I love you all. Bye-bye.